What I want people to know is that don't, don't support the phonies. Support the real. You know what I mean? How can these people be talking about how they so real and they don't care about our communities? How can they be talking about what they all this, you know, the hood, blah, 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 blah. They don't care about our communities. You know what I mean? Listen to the words that people say in their lyrics and tell me if that's some real sh if that's real to you. You know what I mean? Listen to what they saying. Don't just bob your head to the beat. Peep the game. And listen to what I'm saying and hold us accountable for it. A lot of people, black, white, Mexican, young or old, fat or skinny, have a problem being true to themselves. They have a problem looking in the mirror and looking directly into their own souls. The reason I sell six million records, the reason I could go to jail and come out without a scratch, the reason I could walk around, the reason I am who I am today is because I can look directly into my face and find my soul. You know, if, if I know that in this hotel room they have food every day and I'm knocking on the door every day, to eat and they tell and they open the door let me see the, the party let me see like them throwing salami all over the, I mean just like throwing food around where they're telling me there's no food in there you know what I'm saying every day I'm standing outside trying to sing my way in you know what I'm saying we are hungry please let us in we are hungry please let us in after about a week that song is gonna change to we hungry we need some food after two three weeks it's like you know give me a little food and we're working out the door and after a year and you just like you know what I'm saying I'm picking the lock coming through the door blasting you know what I'm saying it's like you hungry you reached your level you don't want anymore we asked ten years ago we was asking with the Panthers we was asking with them you know the civil rights movement we was asking you know, now that those people that were asking, they're all dead and in jail. So now what do you think we're going to do? Yes, I am going to say that I'm a thug. That's because I came from the gutter and I'm still here. How can Reagan live in the White House, which has a lot of rooms, and there'd be homelessness? And he's talking about helping homelessness. This is what I mean about practicality. All right, if there's someone homeless in Washington, D.C., if there's homelessness, and he has the White House, which has a thousand rooms, why can't he take some of them people off the street and put them in his White House? Because he doesn't want to get dirty. The White House would be a little tainted, and when his rich people from Jamaica and everything comes to see him, they'll be, oh, these people, you know? And that's dumb. Heaven is just when you sleep, you sleep with a good conscience. You don't have nightmares. And hell is when you sleep, the last thing you see is all the fucked up things you did in your life. And you just see it over and over again. Because you don't burn. Because if, if that's the case, it's hell on earth because bullets burn. You know what I mean? It's people that got burned in fires. That means they went to hell already. You know what I mean? All that is here. So what, what else? What do you got there that we ain't seen here? What? You gonna walk around aimlessly? That zombie? Nigga, that's here. You ain't been on the streets lately? You know what I mean? What, what heaven is now. Look, we sitting up here in the little big screen. It's heaven for the moment. You know what I mean? Hell is jail. I seen that one. Trust me, this is this is what's real. And all that other shit is to control you. If the churches took half the money that they was making and gave it back to the community, we'd be all right. If they take half the buildings that they used to praise God and gave it to motherfuckers who need God, we'd be all right. We'd be all right. Have you seen some of these goddamn churches lately? It's ones that take up the whole block in New York. It's homeless people out here. Why ain't God letting them stay there? Why these niggas got gold ceilings and shit? Why God need gold ceilings to talk to me? Why do God need colored windows to talk to me? Why God can't come where I'm at, where he sent me? If God wanted to talk to me in a pretty spot like that, why the hell he sent me here then? You know what I mean? That, that make ghetto kids not believe in God. Why? We don't need no more rappers, we don't need no more basketball players, no more football players, we need more thinkers, we need more scientists, you know, we need more managers, we need more mathematicians, we need more teachers, we need more people who care, we need more, you know what I'm saying, we need more women, mothers, fathers, we need more of that, we don't need any more entertainers. If you're not dark inside, and you come to this, this world, it'll turn you dark. You know what I'm saying? And so, if you really have sunshine in you, it's not good to play in the dark. It's, it's, it's just going to extinguish your fire. It's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting Lotto for 36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. 
There's no way. There's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion, but can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why have 52 rooms and you notice somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts, and it's my stuff. And they're having a white Christmas. They're having a great Christmas, eggnog and the whole nine. That's not fair to me. I'm a whole, I have no motherfucking fear. I have no fear. I have only ambition and I want mine and I will do anything to protect and feed my family. This world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean in an ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, everybody's like, you taught that from school, everywhere, big business. You want to be successful? You want to be like Trump? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Push, 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 push. Step, step, step. Crush, crush, crush. If God give me breath for 20 more years, I see myself changing the world. Because my thought patterns are so opposite of what's the norm. Really? So I would have to change the world or I have to be changed by the world. that I have to sidestep my youth to, to stand up and do some shit that somebody else is supposed to be doing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? There's too many men out here for me to be doing it. Because it ain't my turn yet. I'm right. supposed to be following behind him getting the knowledge. Right. I don't even got a chance to get the fucking knowledge. I can't go to college. There's too much problems out here. I don't got the money. Nobody do. And I feel like if you walk by a street and you was walking on concrete and you saw roads growing out of concrete, even if it had messed up pedals and it was a little, you know, to the side, you would marvel at just seeing a rose grow through concrete. So why is it that when you see some ghetto kid grow out of all of the dirtiest circumstances and he can talk and he can sit across from you, make you smile, make you cry, make you laugh, all you can talk about is my dirty rose, my dirty stems and how I'm leaning crooked to the side. You can't even see that I came up out of that shit. And that's exactly the analogy that it is for me, you know what I mean? When somebody breaks into your house and you know he's in the house, you wouldn't go in your real voice, excuse me, are you breaking the house? You would go, hey, what you doing, Miles? It's the same thing that I do, you know what I mean? If you're out in the wilderness and I'm just one sheep by myself, I wouldn't go. Um, I want to say my next song, um, it's called, uh, I would go, you know, ooh, fuck the world, you know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's worked, you know what I mean? And not that it's like a total facade, it's, it's, it's me, but it's just, Blown up. I'm being like, oh, why not? They ain't gonna listen. They have to listen to somebody. I didn't listen. I didn't listen until I came here. Bad people was telling me, watch out, look out, signs up ahead. I said, yeah, I got this, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope they listen. But don't under, don't listen. underestimate the youth of America. Oh no, I got mad props in them. I'm, yeah. I was one of them, but I'm just telling you yeah. what's real. You know what I mean? Okay. A hard head make a soft behind. It took five bullets for me to stop and see what was really going on. No, I didn't. Immediately, I was like, God, oh, man. I know how it's going to be when I die. It's going to be no, no noise. You're going to hear people screaming. I'm going to fade out.